Welcome back, everyone. Every year, classical musicians from all over the country who are in various stages of their professional career meet in Rochester. Some musicians describe it as a homecoming. Others say it's a culturally affirming experience. This week marks the 30th anniversary of the Gateway's Music Festival, a partnership with Eastman School of Music. From middle school all the way up to college, there are many times I was the only person uh, that looked like me. Antoine Clark, conductor of the Gateway's Chamber Orchestra, leads today's rehearsal. These classically trained professional musicians are among the dozens of musicians invited each year to Rochester. Here they connect, enlighten, and inspire audiences through the power of performance. It's a stage full of all black musicians. I've never had that experience before. Alex Lang, Gateway's executive director and clarinetist, joined the group in 2001. It showed me that this music could be something I always wanted to be, which was affirming for me, not only uh, aesthetically, but also culturally. Celebrating 30 years, the Gateways Music Festival is the creation of Armenta Hummings Dumasani, a classical pianist who joined the faculty at Eastman School of Music in the early 90s. A lot of joy and laughter. Rochester can expect the opportunity to see some of the greatest classical musicians in the country right now who also happen to be black. This year, a black musician who predates Mozart is the featured artist. 18th century composer and violinist Joseph Boulogne, Chevalier de Saint-Georges, the son of a white enslaver and an enslaved African. You can still hear those early uh, things that we hear in Mozart, the beautiful harmonies, the, the expressiveness, that, uh, the expressive writing that you hear in the instrument, the violin. The festival includes a special screening of the 2022 film Chevalier. And we're going to get to have an exclusive interview with Chris Bowers, the composer of the music for that. And if you don't know Chris Bowers from his, from his Chevalier composition, then you would know him as the composer of the music for Bridgerton and Queen Charlotte and, and a host of other things. He's a great representation of what we want everyone to know about people that look like us in this business, is that uh, classical music is universal. It is a language that is for all of us to enjoy. A common language presented through a unique musical experience. And the festival concludes Friday evening with a special performance narrated by acclaimed actress Felicia Rashad. We have details on all the performances at rochesterfirst.com.